All right, so typically I will go through and do a stock photography revenue report every month on my stock photography sales from that past month. But I've missed it for a couple months. So in this video, I'm gonna go through all my sales for 2020. So that's both January and February. All right, let's get into it. So the top four sites for 2020 so far have been my largest growing sites from 2019. And I think these four sites are probably going to be my top sites probably for most of the year. Although I expect the order to change month to month. Now the top two Shutterstock and Adobe have been in my top three list for a long time, but Pexels and Deposit Photos, they've really been moving up more recently and I really see them growing much faster than the other two. To. But Adobe and Shutterstock had quite a head start because I've been getting good revenue from them for a number of years. Now, one thing to note is that I don't have the same number of photos uploaded to each site. Now, I've attempted to upload the same photos to Shutterstock and Adobe Stock, but Adobe has rejected more than Shutterstock. That's why those numbers are different. But take a look at Pexels. I've only uploaded a small portion of my photos to Pexels. I did this last year because I wanted to try it out. I wanted to see if it was worthwhile. And I've done that with a number of different sites and they've stayed you know, around the $10 a month range. Whereas Pexels has slowly been climbing over time. So I'm considering uploading a lot more of my photos to Pexels. I've got about another, you know, 400 photos that I could upload to Pexels. And I'm wondering if that could push it into the top spot. Now, the thing with Pexels is it's still pretty random. Now I've been getting some good donations recently, but it is possible for me to get like a $40 donation one month and the next month get $0. So it's pretty random. Whereas if you compare that to the Microstock sites like Shutterstock or Adobe Stock, they're never going to go down to zero in one month. They're always going to be within a range over a month, although it goes kind of up and down every single month. So I'd love to hear what you think in the comments is whether I should go ahead and upload more photos to Pexels, whether you think it'll push up the numbers or whether, you know, uploading more photos won't make much of a dent. I'm just wondering whether people are seeing and what you think. Let me know. It's also interesting to see deposit photos as the number four site. I've really seen deposit photos going up recently and it never was a really big site for me. So I haven't uploaded any photos to deposit photos since 2014. So that's six years without an upload, which means that um, the only reason they would be going up is maybe they're getting more customers on there or maybe they changed the search algorithm so they're showing my photos more. But either way, you know, I've, created a lot of photos since 2014. So I'm thinking about going ahead and uploading all those photos to deposit photos um, to see if that'll increase my sales because it just seems like that site is doing better recently. All right, and here's the rest of my sales for January and February, nothing out of the ordinary here. You know, sites that I've tried out that never really worked out for me. So I haven't gone ahead and uploaded any photos to them recently. So anyways, pretty short revenue report this time for 2020 because there hasn't really been anything outstanding, no big sales to talk about and no news or big changes that I have to talk about in this video. But if you're new to the channel, I go through and do a revenue report every month to talk about my sales on the different stock sites. And I talk about new stock sites and different ways to make money with your photos online. So if that interests you, make sure you go ahead, subscribe to the channel. If you found this useful at all, give it a like and best of luck selling your photos online.